Hi everyone and welcome back. So now next thing we are going to do is creating a GraphQL type definitions and a resolver. So we are going to create a folder GraphQL and inside this we are going to have type definitions and the resolvers. So we can create a folder something like first of all root index.js file which will merge the type definitions and resolver then we can have types and resolver okay now inside types we are going to have a types for comment post and user so we can say either you create a separate separate folder or you can say comment.js post.js and user.js Or you can create a separate separate folder like comment put the types and resolver together similarly create a post folder put the types and resolver together so these are all types similarly for resolver we can create a file comment.js post and user.js so we are done with the at least with the structure now we can start writing uh, the type definition like for the user what all types we are going to have so let's go to types and user here we are going to have export default and export this type definition so what we are going to have type let's say user I mean these types are going to be the same whatever we have seen in uh, the, the last set of videos type user here instead of id we are going to have underscore id which is of type string required then we have a name which is also be a string same set of columns which we have seen in the database table this is again going to be a string required age is going to be uh, integer and then we have set of posts which is going to be an array single post and this is required and comments which this user has published so we are going to have two other types comment there we will define this okay now type query what all query we see on the type user so we can have one single user which will take underscore id as an input okay and it is going to give us the user object and there is another query users which is going to give us the array of user right and mutation let's talk about mutation because everywhere we are going to copy the same mutation like create crud operation create user this is going to take now here we are going to define a new type create user input and it is going to return a user similarly we have update and delete user so i will copy this okay update user which will take id as a string and the payload we have discussed this thing in our last video so this is the id IDs of type ID and second argument is update user input instead of create. Now this is what we are going to define. Then delete user. This is going to take ID as a string as an input. Okay, this should be a string because it's a UUID. Uh, I need to fix that. So it is a string. Here also it is a string because in the, it's a MongoDB underscore ID okay so we have mutations now we can define all these uh, two different types we have created as a custom types for me these looks more like a typescript interface in typescript also we specify things like this we create enums we create interface interface extends one uh, another enums you can extend right you can define the type enum for a particular type and then we have last is update user input. So 
so it is going to be the same but the fields are optional not required here all these things are required okay so we have defined the type definition for this this error will go away why it is creating export default oh sorry for that it was typo similarly for the post right in post what we are going to have the post entity i will try to create something then we'll see so here we have post inside post instead of like user we are now creating post post will have id title body published so it will be id title body published is boolean and required okay then remaining items is like comments comments is going to be a type of array of comment and the author who published it author and the date so here i mean let's uh, leave the date date is another type we can have type dates and it can have two dates like published when it was published this is of type string and updated whenever you are updating and these are optional okay so we can have a date of type dates not required now the query like same as the user we will define the query and mutation for the post methods will be different obviously so in the query we want to say okay you can get a single post by id it is going to return the post okay to return all the set of posts we can have this query it is still going to return the post this is list of post and here instead of create user we are going to have a create post and all i can copy the same set of types create user the only difference is instead of create user and update user it will be create post and update post post input update post input this is a name title body we will change it so this is going to be create post input it is going to return post quickly right now we are familiar with how to define the types and all so this is quick for us this is also create post and delete post id id and this is going to be the single post object and it is returning the deleted post update update post input now everything is update post that is fine now inside the the body right create post input and update it update post input so it is going to have a title body published which is going to be a boolean and author which will have its id okay this is going to be the id for the author and the date which is dates input like when it is getting created and published that is optional leave it and in the update we are going to have all these not the author only published all these flags okay so this is update now we we may also have the subscriptions here subscription means like when you wanted to create a post you wanted to uh, publish an event so i will create a type subscription in type subscription i wanted to say send every time when you are creating a post i will send it and this is my subscription payload we have done this in the last video it's going to be the same set of subscription this is my subscription payload and i have this mutation type and mutation type is create update delete right a kind of enum okay, i will format this isn't look good yes now i have this mutation type this is the payload and this is a single subscription i have for the posts now in, inside the post mutations i have to publish an event 
so that I can my subscription can handle the create update delete events okay this is about post similarly you will write comments so what I will do is I will uh, get this done for the comments also I can just directly copy this and change things for the comments it's going to be the same list of comments only a single comment and then mutation when uh, when you are creating a comment updating comment and deleting a comment and then in the next video let's start writing the resolvers for it okay this is going to be the simple I can help you in writing let's say so this is a type post so it will be type comment and here we are going to have ID text ID is a, ID is ID text is a string and then author author is of type user and then we have other input as author and the post the post which you are publishing okay so type query is a single comment this is a single comment and this is comments it is going to give us all the comments okay what is wrong it's a typo id comments and mutation is create comment update comment delete comment so i will get this done and in the next video we'll start adding the resolvers okay uh, thanks everyone